Hello, this is Amanda Verrett from the Office of Instructional Design and Distance Learning at Northern Kentucky University with Mike Lively. This is video 7 out of 8, making the panoramic photograph into a SWIFT. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to get your file ready to put into the code that we use. Now that your uh, panorama is now all assembled and ready to go, we have to just do a couple of things in Photoshop. First, you need to flip the canvas horizontally, so go to Image, Rotate Canvas, flip canvas horizontally. Also, we're going to take a quick note of the image size. Control Alt I or you can just go to image, image size and take note of the pixel dimensions 28, 28 by 1414. Okay. And go ahead and save. All right, now we're ready to go into flash. So I have a new project opened here and first I'm going to change the dimensions of the stage to what we had just looked at, 28, 28 by 14, 14. Okay. And then we're going to import our picture. I'm also going to resize our photo to its correct dimensions. And then set the X and Y coordinates to 0, 0 so it's exactly centered on the stage. Alright, and now we're going to save. Library Pano. And then we're going to test the movie. So go to Control, Test Movie. All right, then this comes up. Go ahead and close that out. And what that does when we uh, save and control test, it automatically generates a flash and a Swift file. So here you can see the flash file and the Swift file that we just generated. So now that we have the Swift file, our image is completely ready to place into our panorama code in PaperVision 3D and Flex. And that will be tutorial eight.